through saints in Christ. Today, the words of Hosea are echoed twice in the ministry of Jesus about the Lord desiring mercy. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice, the knowledge of God, rather than in burnt offerings. But like Adam, they transgressed the covenant. There they dealt faithlessly with me. Gilead is a city of evildoers tracked with blood, as robbers lie in wait for a man. So the priests band together. They murder on the way to Shechem. They commit villainy. In the house of Israel I have seen a horrible thing. For you also, O Judah, a harvest is appointed where I, when I restore the fortunes of my people. Now these words, I desire mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings, is echoed twice in the Gospel of Matthew, where our Lord Jesus Christ indicates that true faith, true Christianity, true religion is not a bunch of rules, but mercy and sacrifice for others. The Lord Jesus Christ has kept the law perfectly for us. We are covered in his righteousness, and we are to obey the Ten Commandments as a guide in our life. But the way we deal with people is based upon mercy and sacrificing ourselves for others. So Jesus says in Matthew 9, When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard it, he said, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice, for I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. And then again in Matthew, I tell you, something greater than the temple is here. And if you had known what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice, you would have not condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. So Jesus is the great physician. He comes for those who are sick, that is you and me. Jesus is also the Son of Man, who will come in glory upon the clouds. And Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. We come to the divine service to rest in Jesus and receive his gifts of forgiveness, life, and salvation. Let us indeed desire mercy and show mercy to all, as Christ has been merciful to us. Let us pray. Send from your altar, O Lord, the body and blood of Christ. Cleanse us and our lips by this blessed sacrament, delivering the atonement Christ has won for us, that we may be worthy to stand before you now and at the last day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, never depart from us. Though we are unworthy of you and your bounty, you are pleased to receive our meager thanks and reluctant obedience for the sake of Christ's perfect obedience. Let your word rule us and your spirit revive us to leave behind pride and anxiety alike, that we may follow you in all we do through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the same Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us show mercy to others as God has been merciful to us through Jesus.